Hey, come on in. It's Porch Set and Sunday. It's another day and another chance to sparkle. So keep a sparkle in your eye and a sparkle in your heart because it makes you beautiful. Hope y'all are having a good Sunday. It's Father's Day, June 17th, 2018. And we've had a wonderful day. Our oldest grandson came early this morning to see us and stayed all day till 3. And then our son's daughter came to see us. She had been to her dad's grave and she wanted to stop by and see us. So we've had a wonderful, wonderful day. And I wanted to um, let you all, um, I wanted to come in and tell you a story. But then I thought, well, I wasn't here Tuesday and I wasn't here Thursday and I knew that you all would be worried about me. So I decided I would tell you a little bit about what's been going on. First, let me show you the mountains. But first, I gotta let my girl out. She's here at the door wanting out. Come on. Come on. Come on out here with mama. Come on. Come on. Well, stay in, girly. <laughs> she wants out until, until I open the door and then she decides she don't want out. But anyway, here's the mountains today. They're beautiful today. It's a little hazy because it's very, very hot today. Very hot. See how hazy it is? There's a haze over the... My husband cut down my uh, wisteria. He cut it back so that it wouldn't be so big. But anyway, and it'll be fine because... But anyway, there's the mountains over that way. It's a little cloudy today. I'm hoping not to get rain. My husband just left to go fishing. So I thought I would, let me get back around here. I thought, whoops, we're dark here. Okay, now we're light again. I thought I would just come in and let you all know what's been going on in my world and why I was so upset. Um, as most of you know, I've been married 45 years to the same man. We got married. I was well, I've been with him since I was 14. I was 15 when I married him. And here, Diva. 15 when I married him. He was 17. And we've been together ever since. I went straight from my mom and dad's house to me and him having a house. I just got lip gloss on today and no foundation. As you can see, I got all kinds of freckles and just... I put on something on my eyes so y'all wouldn't think I was sick because I'm not sick. I've been down, but uh, my husband had told me that our marriage was over and I was devastated. He had told me this a while back. Well, he told me this a, a week or so ago and I was devastated and it seemed like every day it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. We were fighting every day and um, just horrible things, which we've had um, up and down relationship for the past 40 years, 45 years, if you can imagine uh, two kids getting married and our ups and downs and, um, but we've always, you know, worked our problems out. We've had, had a lot of abuse on my husband's part. Um, he was very, very, very abusive when we first got married, the first 12 years we was married. After that, it became um, verbal and mental abuse. After the verbal, verbal and mental abuse, it stopped for a while, and then, you know, we, um, it seemed like we had just a bliss, a marital bliss going on. And then, all of a sudden, after our son died, the last couple years have been the verbal abuse again. And I just think I'm getting too old for that kind of stuff. So I, when he told me our marriage was over then, I started making plans to try to get out. How can I not stay when he's being verbally and mentally abusive? And um, I went through that. I'm too old for that now. I don't have any children now, and I'm not going to put up with that. So I started, I thought, what am I going to do? No money, no job. Um, I had nothing. And I, 
I ask you all to pray, and I really, really think that God answers prayers. And no, He has not done a turnaround overnight, He, but we have talked, and we are continuing to talk, and things have been pretty good the last few um, days. We went yesterday, spent the whole day together, um, had a good time. I mean, really a good time. And he doesn't want me to give up my YouTube. He knows I enjoy it. He enjoys the comments. I read the comments to you all, to him, what he's, what you all say to me. And he enjoys hearing you all say the things to me that you... He tells me, he says, "Hun, they really do love you, don't they? And I say, yes, my friends love me. And... So, yeah, he, he doesn't want me to give you all up. He doesn't want me to give my YouTube up. Oh, that's the dog over there. Oh, I just thought, oh, my God, what is that? <laughs> but, yeah, he doesn't. You all continue to pray. Continue to pray for our relationship. Continue to pray for me, that God uh, will make me a better person. I've always been good to my husband. I've always lifted my husband up. I've always never put him down. Even though he is, you know, called me names, called me stupid, called me, just called me names. I'm not going to go through the names he's called me. He's called me several names um, in the past, and in the past couple weeks, and um, said horrible things to me. But I still have God's love and His peace in my heart, and I still love my husband. And I am a very, very forgiving person. So I forgive him, and I'm going to move on. God has to help me, though. He has to help me within myself to forgive, to soften my heart even more, to make me more humble. So that's what I'm asking. You all pray that God uses me to be more humble and to be more like Christ. Because that's what a Christian is. We're Christ-like. We have to... Um, humble ourselves and be how Jesus would want us to be. So on this Father's Day, as we remember our fathers and how they were, because I remember my, my dad was never, he was abusive toward my mother. Yes, he was. I don't ever remember him calling her names. I don't ever remember him calling her uh, stupid or anything like that. He was just um, abusive in a physical way in the beginning. When we were real, real little, I remember it. But as we got older, Dad was not abusive toward my mom, and Dad was never abusive toward us children. Never. And so I just want to remember my dad today with, with um, great memories and fond memories. And I hope you all are having a great day. If you've lost your dad, I hope that you're having a fun day, a day that you don't think of sadness, but have that um, memory of him as a loving parent, if he was. If he wasn't, then I'm sorry that you didn't have that um, loving relationship. And if you've lost a child, a son, and it's his Father's Day, then... You know, happy Father's Day to them in heaven. And happy Father's Day, and I'm sure they were great dads. I know my son was a great dad. He loved his daughter with every being in his body. And so today's been a great day for my husband and myself, and I hope you all are having a great day. Don't forget, at the end of every storm is a beautiful rainbow and I know that each and every one of us is going to have a rainbow come around the corner so don't forget to keep that sparkle in your eye sparkle in your heart because it makes you beautiful I love you guys I'm drinking coffee today as hot as it is can you believe that I'll see you tomorrow's Monday and I have a video planned with someone so stop by and see who it's with it's a collab we're gonna have a ball I love you guys. Bye.